What's up guys and welcome back to Poor Man Printing. Today we are going to go over the AMA on Twitter that happened last night. It's some really cool stuff. Uh, Jeremy Powler is in there, West Coast Customs in there. We're also going to go over the Immutable X swap and NTL license. Like this is a very, very big month for Omi and Vivi. Uh, I, I can't wait to see exactly what happens. Uh, hell, even some of the artists has already said that they're releasing their nfts to open c so like a lot of stuff is changing so if you've never been here before i'm glad to have you hit that subscribe button if you like this kind of content and let's roll that intro i i, I said roll the intro what's up guys let's get straight into this okay we are on bit forex and omi has had a nice run up guys i mean down from what 30 around 30 31 all the way up to sustaining pretty much around double zero three eight so we have had a nice run up because people know it's fomo people's trying to get in they know this is going to be a very big month for omi and they don't want to miss out so i don't blame them and just to let everybody know that I actually bought my first NFT on OpenSea the day before yesterday, I believe that's what it was. Uh, I bought the Afro Droids. And I'm really liking it. I think it's a really cool NFT. It was my first NFT, so I'm happy about that. And uh, yeah, I, I got introduced to gas fees. So hello, gas fees. <laughs> so yeah, I can't wait to see uh, what the future of this NFT is going to bring me. So let's go ahead and get on into it how you like the new camera too i got new cameras i even got i mean you want to check it out like i i ain't got a back camera we're sitting there talking to you guys i got my cat over here chilling you know he, he's just he's just vibing to the to the jam which i don't have no jam so that sucks but <laughs> let's just get into it guys i'm sitting there rambling like i'm just rambling I, let's just go all right, guys, so I have the whole thing recorded. I didn't get home in time to actually stream it, so it's kind of, that sucks. But, you know, I had to do what I had to do, man. You know, I work a, I work a day job, and it, yeah, it sucks. So it is what it is. But let's go ahead and listen to the first part, which they're talking about the Mutable X swap and MTL license. Let's go. People will obviously want to know how the Immutable uh, testing is going. Um, guessing if we had updates, we probably would have put them out. But have you got anything um, to add to that? Uh, yes, Immutable is coming along very well. We had a couple of final blockers removed. Um, so now that they are out of the way, it really is just a matter now of, of finishing up all of the testing um, and then getting ready for the rollout. So uh, I anticipate in the next sort of couple of weeks, we're going to start publishing some content or some communications uh, just around the, how the whole token swap's going to work, everything you need to be aware of uh, as a token holder uh, and the steps that you'll that you'll need to go through so very excited to have uh you know this this fairly pivotal change happen within the app um as a lot of listeners know <clears throat> you know moving to uh to ethereum based or layer two is going to open up a lot of opportunities for vv um both in terms of uh you know interoperability for for those life the tools that um that approve it and of course opening it up to the you know to the wider s community which you know, as as any long time listeners know, Reese and I are uh, are definitely ETH fanboys. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, ETH fanboys. <laughs> but um, no, as you said, that is a a really monumental change. I know a lot of people are excited for it, and I mean, like, we're finally here. You know, NFTs are breaking into people's awareness. You know, and and they're making it outside of the the crypto sphere. So it's um it's very exciting to be moving to the home of NFTs. Well, I'm excited anyway. Um, <laughs> So that's true, guys. NFTs are here to stay. They're making a move. Visa bought their first NFT. Uh, Bitcoin is, is being accepted by banks now. NFTs are pretty much everywhere. Everybody wants to start designing NFTs, but you know, they're all they all won't succeed. Only the chosen ones. Let me I'm just gonna say the chosen ones, like licensed brands like Vivi, licensed brand, DC, Marvel, uh, Famous artists, Frank Kozak, Mondo, all those guys are going to make a big difference. So let's get into the next part, which you're talking about MTL. I can't wait for that. Talking about cashing out. Let's go, baby. Make that green. 
Uh, okay, immutable uh, MTL. Obviously, people want to know how that testing is going as well. I know we're in the legal and compliance stage of that. I'm assuming we are still in that stage. We are still in that stage, but everything is moving along very well. Uh, we've already passed a number of compliance uh, steps and and overall the you know the the full MTL account has been approved. Uh, the last step now is just to get the uh, sign off on on the actual dev that we've done on our side. Um, and yeah, I, again, I'm really hoping that we'll be we'll be rolling that out um, this month. There you go, guys. MTL probably in the next two weeks we will see MTL. Um, everything is shaping up, just like I've said before. Everything is shaping up. This is a very big month for VV, very big. Uh, so not financial advice. I hope you got your bag set because, yeah, we're getting ready to go for a ride. But, hey, I don't know what I'm talking about, right? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay, guys, this next part, uh, he's actually talking about the first uh, artists to actually go to open seas, which I think is great because it gives other people opportunities to buy, uh, and, and it gives awareness to Vivi. So yeah. And which it raised the floor price of, I'm about to show you. <laughs> yeah. 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 So, um, I, like I've been pretty clear, uh, all along the fact that the interoperability of, of, of Vivi NFTs comes down to the licensors. Uh, some are obviously more motivated than others. Uh, others have more legal compliance they need to go through. So um, we will announce, you know, which uh, which NFTs will be interoperable um, uh, as that information comes available. However, I will say that on the on the on the artist side, um, uh, you know, such as Jermaine Rogers and Frank Kozik. Um, we can anticipate that, that those are more likely going to be the first ones that uh, will become interoperable. Um, I probably shouldn't have said that. Now everyone's going to go out and raise the floor price. but <laughs> And that's exactly what happened to these Labbits on VV because I went and bought all of them. <laughs> hey, if I see green, baby, I'm buying it. Um, so, yeah, it looks like Frank Kozak, uh, Jermaine Rogers, and them's going to be on uh, open sea first and i'm sure mondo and everybody else is right behind it so people are loading up on these labis guys in vivi i mean it's crazy we all know how much stuff can go for on open seas and i can see these nfts actually making a, a really good dollar a really good big green dollar uh yeah we can expect that Th that's more than likely how it's going to roll out. And then as the, the sort of the larger licensors, um, you know, come to grips with, yeah, to grips uh, with, with interoperability, uh, which obviously is a very new. Sorry about that, guys. I was actually taking a shower and I come back in. I was listening to the AMA at the same time that I was recording it on my cell phone. So it's got a little, little backlash in there. For a lot of these industries, um, anticipate that they'll roll out um, in the, uh, a little bit later on. So there you go, guys. Labbits are taking off. All the artists are going to be the first ones on Open Seas because they don't have to deal with all these licenses. They only have to deal with one person. They're the owner of that NFT. So it's really easy. And like I said, I can see it shooting the price up big time. I really can. I really can. Okay, guys, for this next person that actually spoke at the AMA is Mr. Jeremy Padower. Uh, if you don't know who Jeremy is, he's a big time VV supporter. He's has, he's actually, uh, invested a lot of money in Omi. Um, I, I can't remember how much it was, but it's a lot more than I make. That's all I'm saying. But he is a toy maker, uh, Pokemon, Fortnite, uh, Roblox, a AEW, Halo. I mean, big time, big time guy, big time guy. So let's listen to what he has to say. Mr. Jeremy Padua. Mr. Jeremy Padua, welcome, sir. What's going on? I'm glad to be here. My favorite <laughs> community. That's <laughs> good. Dan, are you... Uh, I certainly am. You guys go way back, don't you? Uh, we go back, uh, yeah, we go back a few... Well, I mean, not too long. The, the earlier this year, I believe. Nice. Jeremy, where did you... How did you come into the picture? How did you, did you meet... David or Dan I somewhere? Did. Is it was it an event or did I you did. know? I did. Well, I'm I'm right. close friends with Alcon and he's a, you know, he's one of the most spirited, fascinating people that uh that's in the entire industry of 
entertainment and licensing. And, you know, for me, when Al says, hey, Jeremy, I want to meet with you and talk about something, I, I say, yeah, sounds great, because every time it sort of blows your mind, sometimes it blows your mind in a bad way. You go like, geez, Al, how'd you get involved with that thing? But <laughs> but sometimes you go like, oh, my God, Al just found the next big thing. And he's done that so many times in his career. So he came to me, I think it was in 2019, um, at uh, it, in, in I think, I believe it was February 2019 at Toy Fair. And uh, I met with uh, Dan, Dave, and Al. And we all sat down and I looked through the entire presentation and I said, this will never work to myself. (laughs) (laughs) Classic. Yeah, Yeah, because I know everything, right? So I was like, I was like, wow, Mm -hmm. Al really got himself wrapped up in something this time. But I sort of smiled and I was like, hey, listen, you know, this is very interesting. Let me keep track of it. So I, um, I kept track and I, I checked in every few months and, and uh, I just absolutely fell in, in love with the concept, the idea that you could create digital assets that had a primary market value and that ideally you create something and give consumers a tremendous value in the end so that there's a secondary market value that, that everyone feels good about, like a traditional collectible. And uh, and then I learned more about uh, VV and the attachment to OMI and the token and the burning of the token. And of course, I became involved with both the VV community and the OMI community. So um, mm-hmm. and, and just so that if it, you know, people that don't know me, I'm a, I'm a partner, uh, former, uh, formerly uh, an uh, owner of a company called Wicked Cool Toys. We got uh, acquired by private equity and then combined with a company called Jazzwares. And now I'm in the leadership team there. And we're the global master toy partner of brands like Pokemon, Roblox, Fortnite, um, Peppa Pig, Coco Melon. We own Squishmallows, which is a very large brand, that sort of thing. But uh, yeah, so big fan. That's all I can say. Big fan. We are. Uh, I think our whole community is a big fan of you. So, so thank you for oh, being thank here you. and thank for sharing you. and uh, and being part of the journey. Yeah, I definitely love how active you. you are on the Twitter. So, like, you know, whenever you get a, a favorite on your tweet, that's. Uh, that's coming from me. So thank you very much for being active. <laughs> oh my gosh. I, I gotta tell you, I was just sort of I was sort of like sneaking around the room looking around, you know. But I, I'm so excited that you guys uh, called me up and um uh on stage. I, I really you know, I really feel a kinship with this entire community. Like I feel like it's just a bunch of entrepreneurs who see an opportunity really early. And mm-hmm. even though, you know, you launched uh Did y'all hear that? That's why most people don't have patience because we are so early in this. If Jeremy is saying we're early, we early. I'm just saying a very successful guy who believes 100% of VV, who has never sold his OMI, who has a lot of OMI. Just makes sense, don't it, guys? Just makes sense. You know, maybe seven, eight months ago, it seems like now, this community is still very young. So it's just, I can't wait yeah. to see where this goes. I really cannot wait to see where this goes. And it's in such good hands with y'all. Such good hands. There you go, bro. There you go. There you go. Jeremy Powder. I, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> you don't have to believe me. Maybe you believe Jeremy. VV is going to be super successful. Super successful. Okay, so this next part, guys. Dan's actually explaining a few things about the NFTs, the car NFTs, which is my favorite. You gotta wait, gotta wait for it, which is my favorite. Mm, yes. Um, I want you to hear this before you hear the second part. So let's just go ahead and play it. About expanding into the car industry. Uh, yep, absolutely. Um, uh, vehicles is one of our uh, main six or seven categories that we have, along with you know, sports, gaming, uh, pop culture, et cetera. Um, and obviously we've already released a couple of vehicles in that line. Um, and uh, for, for some of you may, may not know, but um, we did announce an annou- uh, sorry, did an announcement of uh, General Motors. So we have a lot of cool stuff coming in um, with, uh, with some of their awesome classic cars and concept cars. Uh, and in addition to that, um, I believe we've already also announced, well, at least I hope we have, um, <laughs> Fast and the Furious is also one of the brands that we have as well. So, uh, yeah, along with being a big anime fan, I'm a big car fan as well. 
and I can't wait to have my my VV twelve car garage with all with all my epic <laughs> uh, vehicles in there. So um, yeah. Are you ready? Are you ready? This is my favorite part. Y'all know how I am about cars, right? Y'all know how I am. I even got one button ready for this. Y'all ready? Okay, that's enough of that. That's enough of that. L let's just go ahead and play it, okay? I get a little excited with stuff like this. I, I'm a big car guy. Mostly Ford. Well, I like all of them, but mostly Mustangs. Just saying. Just saying. So, let's go. And joining, uh, joining your blue check on stage is another blue check uh, that people were commenting and shouting out in the audience. West Coast Customs in the house. How's it going? <laughs> I'm, I'm actually on a run right now and listening to you guys on my AirPods, so I didn't plan on coming up. But I heard everybody shouting us out. So. <laughs> kind of had to. How far have you run? Uh, on second mile. So, <laughs> nice. Yeah. Nice. It's further than I've run this week. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we've we've spoke with David a couple times in the past, and we love, love your platform and uh, have some special things in the works that hopefully we can work on together <clears throat> yes hopefully that, sounds that would be awesome i am i am a huge <laughs> west coast customs fan as, as i mentioned um uh yeah i'm a big what are you doing step bro you hear that <laughs> Go ahead, Dan. That's what I'm talking about. He's a big car guy. Let's let's do this. Let's do this. Big uh, car fanatic as well, and I just think, yeah, your your assets would look pretty awesome in the showrooms and in, in AR. So hopefully, uh, hopefully we can get something going. Yeah, I heard. Uh, I think it was Jess say something about cars, and kind of got me excited. So <laughs> make it <laughs> happen. Up. All right. Alex over there talking about make it happen. That's what I'm talking about, Alex. That's what I'm talking about. Guys, I'm telling you right now, if we get West Coast Customs, I will freak out. I'm telling you right now, I'm a big fan of his work and what he does. Y'all just don't know what it takes to actually build cars like he like he builds. I mean, it's I, I built a night I, I built a 2015 Mustang, right? I, I didn't build it. I just added parts to it, you know, twin turbo thousand horsepower to the wheels so i don't know what uh after taxes probably about 1200 maybe 1250 uh i ran at 894 in the quarter at 157 miles an hour and if i'm telling you right now if you was to ride in that if you were to drive that car down that strip was one freaking time it's like something you have never experienced in your life like the adrenaline rush from that is freaking 1,000%. So I get a little excited about cars. Y'all all know this. I might start drinking early today. I, I don't even know. I don't even know. Yeah. But, man, God, West Coast Customs, y'all work this out, man. Y'all do it because I want to see their cars on VV because I'm going to buy every one of them, and I'll probably never sell them. That, that's what I collect. I love cars. I just can't afford to collect real cars, so I got to do what I got to do. But maybe I can afford to collect some some VV freaking West Coast custom cars. Bring it, baby, bring it. But yes, please make it work. Please make it work. So that's what I brought you today, guys. Very very big month for VV NTL Immutable X Swap. It's a lot of stuff happening this month. Not financial advice. If you ain't loaded your bag up, go load up. I don't want none of y'all to miss this opportunity, but I mean, I could be wrong. You know, I could be wrong. So don't listen to what I say, but at the same time, I don't want you to miss maybe owning something like this because this is what I'd spend all my money on. I'm just saying right now, I'm just saying right now, I would spend all my freaking money on cars. Just saying. <laughs> but 
hey i appreciate everybody coming if you're brand new to the channel like subscribe if you like this kind of content if you don't say hey this is a stupid video i don't know what the hell i'm watching i'd rather be playing a hello kitty island adventure or some shit i don't know i don't know but if you like it hey be plenty more so this is poor man printing i'm out of here